Hey everybody, what is really important is I said earlier on, we're gonna go from the daytime, see how it was in the day when we saw there was no one around on the streets. The road was really quiet and nothing. There was no one really walking around. But now what we've got, we got what I thought we'd get is a beautiful scenery, everyone enjoying the evening. Great, great environment, people walking around. Don't want to get too many of the people on the shop because they, they've got a job to do and I don't want to embarrass them. But we're here having a really good time. We've just come out of the Triangle Bar and now we're back at the beach. Just to show you that night and day at Padia is completely different. I just want to remind you that this is an environment that some people might not like, but for me, it's all about living, it's all about enjoying, it's all about having fun. We're making our way all the way over to the place called Walking Street. Now, Walking Street is a very well-known street. Basically, it's full of some really vibrant bars, lots of music, lots of nightlife, lots of sound, people having a great time, enjoying themselves. And I think that's what is really important. When you come out as a disabled person traveling, you've got to enjoy everything about it, right? The moment the sun has gone down, the moon is not here, but the stars are out. It's really bright. Look at these wonderful lights. Look at these wonderful sounds. It's amazing, amazing place and people are still out on the beach too. The good thing with being out on the beach is they're not going to get sunburned in the middle of the night are they? So a lot of people in Thailand they don't like to be out in the sun, they don't like to get sunburned, they do not like the heat. So what do you have? Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 ใช่เนาะที่กรุงเทพเป็นแบบนี้ด้วยเวลาคุณไปเที่ยวที่ไหนก็ได้คุณชอบนางแบบรถยนต์แท็กซี่ออเป็นบูเชเองทำแบบไหนขับรถเองขับรถเองใช่ไหมขับได้ไม่ปัญหาเนาะเราก็เวลามีที่จอดรถคอนพิการปกติเจอก็เต็มตลอดเนาะอันนี้ไม่ใช่คอนพิการเหมือนกันใช่ไม่มีคอนคิดเลยไอ้น่าสงสารนะเวลาผมไปเที่ยวแต่จริงๆผมไม่ชอบจอดแบบนั้นแต่ว่าผมเดินได้แต่ว่าไอ้ไม่เข้าใจทําไมคนไทยไม่คิดอะไรเยอะเนาะแต่ว่าไอ้รู้แต่ไม่ใช่ที่จอดเป็นติดประตูแต่ว่าเป็นเปิดประตูกวางใช่ไหมใช่เนาะจะออกออกรถแล้วก็นั่งวิวแชร์ได้ใช่คนไม่เข้าใจเราคุณเป็นนักลองทุกคนเหรอใช่ไหมพร้อมไหมนักลองเป็นพร้อมไหมเพลงดีไหมก็ถามว่าพร้อมไหมก็อยู่เก่าคนฟังมากกว่าว่าจะฟังพร้อมไหมเข้มเงินดีไหมเขาทอดไม่ต้องเท่าไรเด้อโอเคไหมมีทิปเยอะไหมสุดยอดชอบเลย Thank you, Cap. Bella, you are a person who is 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 a person เอาไอโอแคปไมค์แล้วก็ฟังคุณเลยโอเคไหมครับเอาเพลงดีๆนะไอชอบอ๋าลูกจากเสียงเพลงนี้นะเราสองคนก็ไม่รู้ว่าจะสุดที่ไหนหลังมาสุดท้าย
ชอบมากเลยสุดยอดโอเคขอบคุณมากนะยินดีเจอกันด้วยนะครับเพลงพร้อมมากเลยชอบ I like the song too Yeah, very beautiful voice. Well, good luck. I hope everything good. ชกดีมากนะครับอย่ารวยรวยนะครับแข่งเพราะมากเลย Good luck, everything. Okay, thank you. The Bay Walking Street now. Go find what's going on. ชกดี Stay safe. Okay, so we're here one more time with Travelability. We come to Walking Street. We're going to see the most famous place in Pattaya. Where the life is unbelievable, the lights are going strong, people are dancing, people are playing, people are having a really great time walking, meaning to go through to walk. However, we are a little bit different. We are a disabled channel. Let's see if we can roll through. Let's see if we can walk through. Let's see if we can enjoy it as much as everybody else. So, if you follow me, we're going to enjoy what really is walking street. So we're finally in Walking Street. We've actually made it through the gate. Let's go see how ambient it really is. You hear lots of stories about this place. The weird thing about these stories, I want to know if they're really true. You know, when you hear about Padilla, these stories are unreal. It is so amazing to think that this is here. It's pretty impressive. All this stuff, all these people, all this music, all this sound. Before the bars were way bigger, and it went all the way down. Since COVID took over, it's been a little bit worse, but it doesn't mean it's that bad. It actually allows a little bit less uh, less foot traffic. So while it's like this, if you're in a wheelchair, you're going to be absolutely fine. Could do with some places to sit. Somebody like me, I'm pretty tired already, but. I'm being egged on by all this music, so. It's pretty cool. I mean, the music actually is really upbeat. Obviously, having so many bars allows everyone to be upbeat with it. And that sort of 
paves way to enjoying yourself a lot more. The stories that you get, I mean, you hear some of the most atrocious stories ever, but I think that, you know, when you come to a place like this, you're only gonna love it. What, what is quite sad, when you see some of the bars that used to be here are no longer here, all the amazing, amazing sounds that used to get, it's a little bit sporadic at the moment. So there is obviously the negative side, but since COVID, it's changed the environment quite a lot. People lost their jobs. A lot of people had to make, make do with a very low income to get by while COVID was here. But now it's picking back up. The lights are back on. The environment is getting a lot stronger. People are back having fun. Some real craziness going on. Okay, so we just had our first little pit stop halfway down uh, <laughs> Walking Street. Had to think about that for a minute. Um, it was actually a really nice break because we managed to make our way across the entire beachfront and now we're down Walking Street too. My legs are feeling pretty tired. There's nowhere to sit down. There's nowhere to actually relax unless you have a drink. That's a very good marketing ploy, but it's also a very painful one for us. What they have noticed here is they really have improved Walking Street. They're rebuilding, they're rebranding, they're redesigning. That's a good, good thing here, but um, they're putting cobbles down. The problem with putting cobbles down is that when you're in a wheelchair, it's not as easy as you think. Cobbles can be a bit of a sod. They're putting a really good pattern on the floor. I haven't noticed many signs. I've not noticed any disabled options too. Have you noticed everywhere you look, they're missing out on some really important customers? Us. I haven't seen any places for disabled people to go into. There haven't been any ramps. And the only ramp I have seen has been blocked off. So they're definitely missing out on that. Okay, we've made it all the way through Walking Street. I've done it as a disabled man. I've done it, I'm really proud of myself. It's really worked out well. Walking Street is an improved area. It never used to be like this. It's getting better, it's looking cleaner, and the people are as friendly as they were before. The only the problem we've got is there's nowhere for a disabled person to sit. Some ramps would help. But overall, this environment is still as fun as it used to be, but a lot cleaner. So if you get a chance to come down to Padia, you get a chance to enjoy yourself, get a chance to have some great fun, get down to Walking Street. This has been an amazing travelability experience. We've had some ups, we've had some downs. We've been around this place and it's been fun. So, for me and travelability, have a great time. The last thing I'm gonna tell you, no matter what happens in life, you can always change your view. Don't worry about what today is gonna to bring you. Tomorrow can always be a better day if you plan ahead. Don't worry about life. Life behind you will never come forward, but everything in front of you will come to you. Make the most of your life and do not be scared to try new things. No feet, no defeat, travelability, so I dig happy.